everyone and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today we are doing a picture of a sunflower and I'll start by drawing the outline and I add all the details where I want them and I get the petals. Uh, I make sure that they're all going in slightly different directions. So they follow the directions around the flower, but also I have some bent and some facing upwards and some tilted downwards just so that it keeps the picture interesting. And I add the center and then I go down and I add the stem and a few of the leaves along the stem. And I take them off the side of the picture as well. So it looks a little bit more interesting. So now I clean my palette and I get some Hansi Yellow, which is my Daniel Smith watercolors. And I add that all the way around all of the petals. And it doesn't matter if I stay in the lines completely. I can go outside the lines a little bit. I'll just, you'll see in a minute, I'll just pick that bit up with a bit of damp, bit of water on the brush. And then I just sponge that off with a bit of um, kitchen paper. I always have a roll of kitchen towel handy for just such occasions so that if you make any errors with watercolour, you just get a clean damp brush and you can rub over it and you can they call it lifting off. So you can lift off uh, the watercolour from where you don't want it. Um, so I continue around all of the petals with the yellow, the Hansi yellow, and I fill all of those in. And then I mix up an orange. So I use a little bit of red or a little bit of magenta rather, and I add that into the Hansi yellow to make an orange tone. And I take that around the darker areas of all of the petals. And then I make it a little bit thicker. So a little bit less water, a little bit less, a little bit more pigment. And that creates a slightly stronger orange. So I just added a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow and continue that around. Then for the leaves and the stem, I use sap green, very diluted for the first layer. And I just fill in the whole stem and leaves with that sap green. Take that all around. While it's still damp, I drop in a little bit of olive green with that sap green to slightly darken up around the shadow areas and add a little bit more detail. And then I go in, I add to that a little bit of indigo, a little bit of indigo blue to the green as well. And that just creates that darker tone to give you the shadow areas and the darker areas around the base of the flower. So now for the center of the flower, I use purple and indigo. So I use, I think it's quinacridone purple and indigo to make a really dark sort of bluey purple. And I also take that around the darkest shadow areas of the whole picture. So anywhere below the flower, along the leaves, anywhere like that, I add that uh, quinacridone purple and indigo. And I also take that into the center of the flower in the darker areas. So that gives me all my dark tones. I add a little bit more of the red to the, to the orange just to create some more color and depth of color into the petals on the sunflower. And take that right around everywhere, cutting around the two that are upturned, the two petals that are upturned. And we are just about done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Okie doke. Bye.